welcome to Malapascua Island. So I'm here on a journey to find some sharks, explore the beautiful island of Kalangaman, and to show you three distinct resort experiences for your visit to Malapascua. This is in the northernmost part of Cebu. It's a small island literally in the middle of the Philippines. And to get here, you need to fly to Cebu, ride a bus from the north bus station all the way to Maya Port, where you will be riding a boat going straight to the island. Now, fair warning if you're going here during the stormy season, don't expect a smooth ride. Hey, So upon arriving, I immediately walked towards the most zen and tranquil resort in our list, Buena Vida Resort. Very quiet. Very peaceful. When you enter this sacred dwelling, you'll immediately feel a sense of calm as you are welcomed by the Buddha. Everything about this place is so meditative. But let's begin with the rooms. Here, the rooms are very minimalist, clean, and has this tropical vibe that you would expect from an island resort. The best feature of the rooms for me are really the balconies because having this open space to just reflect or even do work is a great design for the staycation experience. They have a gym here which is a huge advantage because this is the only gym in this area. They also host yoga sessions and I was lucky enough to try my first ever yoga class here. Another relaxing amenity here of course is the spa. Here they have a beautiful jacuzzi that you can use while getting yourself a massage. And the massage itself was excellent. I would give it a 9 out of 10 and it will really loosen you up. And within the spa area, you can also set up a romantic candlelit dinner. In this case, I am here having dinner with my friend, Aizel, who decided to visit me here in Cebu. So the dinner was very yummy, but the food came from the next resort that we will be visiting because they are also the owners of that next resort. So stay tuned. But before that, let's see how much it costs to stay here in Buena Vida Resort. Now, one last thing about this resort is they leave this bite-sized treats before bedtime and it has a cute note that comes with it and i know it's a tiny detail but it really does make you feel more at home plus points now the rates here start at 5,000 pesos which for me is a great value because you're not just staying here for the diving for the sharks when you book here you will really look forward to the resort experience now it might seem like it's hard to beat that one but trust me, it gets better and better because the next one is also owned by the same owner so you might want to stick around for Ocean Vida but before that, I had to visit my friend who has a restaurant nearby, Subad Food House Here they serve a lot of seafood and homey nostalgic Filipino food just the best place to eat after a long and tiring dive session Here I got to try the special Ginataang Hipon or shrimp in coconut cream so make sure to try out their food and now that I've had my fill, let's explore Ocean Vida Resort. This is one of the most popular resorts here for the beachfront that comes alive at night. So this is a 3 minute walk away from Buena Vida and you might notice a lot of similarities here. Despite being in front of the beach where the main activities are, you're surrounded by all of these trees and all of this greenery to make everything feel like an oasis. The villas are simple, elegant, it has a bit of a different vibe, definitely more tropical and more vibrant 
What's unique here is they have rooms that are right in front of the beach. So that easy access to the water might be something that you are looking for. And if you notice, I didn't really feature any food from Buena Vida because they serve the food right here in Ocean Vida. And this is their breakfast place with a stunning view of the sea. So it is a really nice place to spend your mornings here. So I think the biggest advantage of this place is really the location because most of the tourist activities in Malapascua is right around here from the restaurants, the bars, and of course the dive facilities. Now there's a good chance that you are watching this video because you want to scuba dive here. So right below the breakfast area, you can already inquire and book your dive sessions here with Sea Explorers. So about that, Malapascua is really the place where you are almost guaranteed to see the treasure sharks. So I was really thinking about it if I should scuba dive here, but unfortunately, I didn't because I didn't have enough time, but that doesn't mean that we won't be seeing the sharks. So stay tuned because there's something really special in the next resort that we explore. So another thing this place is really famous for is the beachfront bar that really comes alive at night. So make sure to unwind and get yourself a drink if you stay here in Ocean Vida Resort. And they also serve the little snacks here by the door at night, so you can look forward to that as well. How much does it cost to stay here in Ocean Vida Resort? The rates here start at around 5,000 pesos as well, almost the same with Buena Vida rates. So if you like the beachfront location, I think this one is for you. So before we explore the final resort, my personal favorite, you might be wondering what else can you do here in Malapascua. You can explore North Beach, which is a 12-minute motorcycle ride away. You can enjoy a long stretch of this white sand beach. And here we found this place that serves sikwate, a traditional hot chocolate here in Cebu. You can also go to the Malapascua Marketplace, where you can get some of the freshest seafood, very vibrant market, and super yummy and affordable food. And finally, you can also visit Kalangaman Island by booking a tour. It's around two hours from Malapascua by boat, and you can enjoy this beautiful sandbar, take pictures, and again, don't expect a smooth ride going here during the stormy season. And the last resort we'll be showcasing is Blanco Beach Resort. This one is located in the southern tip of the island where it has access to the Logon Beach, nearby the port going home, the cemetery beach, and a marine protected area which we will explore to find some sharks. Good luck to us. Now the simplicity in their design really complements the natural beauty of the surroundings. Since this is in an elevated part of the island, each villa is strategically positioned to offer stunning views of the ocean and sets a serene atmosphere for guests to unwind. The rooms here are very spacious, clean, and they have all the necessities of a proper resort or hotel. I like the sliding glass doors that really make the stay more relaxing because you can appreciate the view of nature from your bed. There's also a lot of space here to relax, have a drink, and enjoy the beach. Now this area really gives it a more luxurious and exclusive feel and a particular specialty here is the food. Owned by an Italian family, you already know that they put a lot of attention to cooking the best quality Italian food. We got to try their pasta and their burgers which tasted really authentic, simple and fresh. Now just beside the beachfront is the marine protected area so you have to pay 50 pesos to access this one. And they told me that there are actually sharks here. So let's see if I'll be lucky enough to find one today. As you snorkel towards the coral garden, make sure to be really careful and avoid touching or stepping into anything because we want to be really respectful of the beautiful marine life that calls this place home. And after searching and searching, I finally found a shark. So yeah, I found sharks but they are baby sharks. <laughs> 
but at least I was able to see them in the wild and of course I'll be back here once I get my scuba license done so I can finally see the adult sharks. So if you like the simplicity, the exclusivity, the Italian food, and the overall vibe here, you can stay here for as low as 6,500 pesos per night. So which one did you guys like the most? If you're visiting Cebu, we have a bunch of videos here to help you travel Cebu better. So make sure to subscribe and join us as we travel the Philippines with purpose. Maraming salamat and paalam.